Okay, so I'm responding to Jake Fried's video. Um, so first and foremost, I found Jake's argument very thought-provoking. Um, he definitely um, identifies the problem very well right off the bat as one of authoritarian environmentalism as opposed to democratic environmentalism. Um, and then he directly goes into discussion of NGOs in the context of China, stating that NGOs in China are weak, unorganized, mostly government-run. A lot of the ones that operate in China are from other countries. Um, and then he also talks about the idea of how greater participation is a false illusion and that there's a lack of free speech. Um, however, going into Jake's argument, he does argue that it's important um, for China to still hold the forum or for the NGO to still hold the forum in China. Um, and that he said there might not be great feedback due to the lack of free speech, but it would still raise awareness and spread information. Um, and he points out that a speech at the front to warn people about speaking out against any initiatives um, could be um, something that incentivizes people to still talk, but within the confines of what they're allowed to. Um, he also talks about going door to door, spreading info in other ways, um, and he uses the narrative example of the Dalian protests, um, you know, citing the six activist leaders from the anti-PX protests that got in trouble for what they're doing. Um, he also talks about how spreading false information to terrorize the public is something that the government does. Um, and so he justly points out that feedback at the public forum may not necessarily be comprehensive. Um, he also talks about the alternatives, um, which could be canceling form altogether, which was actually something that I somewhat argued. Um, and he talks about limiting public feedback, um, but still important to let people know. So I actually totally um, do not think it's a good idea to allow public feedback because I think it would put people in harm's way even if you address it at the front. I think that's just a recipe for disaster. Um, at least in the forum setting that Jake suggested, I think there's other ways of getting feedback, um, you know, that aren't a speech up front, because you have to assume that government officials are going to be monitoring it. Um, however, he did have strong points by going door to door, which is something that I talked about, and I actually did not consider that a forum could even still take place. But I do see um, the forum as a mechanism of providing information to citizens is something that could be useful. Um, I just definitely wouldn't proceed in the exact way Jake suggested with the forum. Um, Jay could have considered uh, maybe other ways to pinpoint um, strategy as an alternative perspective, uh, pinpoint raising awareness, so things like putting out calls for actions, um, having people set sta standards among their peers, um, you know, it's something that can operate within the context of environmental authoritarianism. Um, and lastly, my argument, I think, was definitely shaped. I definitely do think now that um, a public forum could occur. Um, and that it might not be the entirely best way, but it could be a nice contributing piece. Um, and Jake gave me ideas about that, even if I don't agree with the way that 